Let's talk about Isaac the Forge Master from Castlevania. This is a character that had an immense transformation throughout the course of the entire series, going from a loyal servant of Dracula to one of the most honorable yet feared leaders in the world. There was definitely a significant character arc though, because the Isaac we met in Season 2 was not the same that we saw at the end of Season 4. I can't lie, I struggled with the character of Isaac when I first met him. I felt like he truly lacked character agency, and ironically enough, I feel like the writers felt the same way. Now, character agency is not the same as not having character traits. Isaac is definitely a unique character in his own right. He is loyal, self-sacrificial, intelligent, and fearless. But every action he takes in Season 2 is in the shadow and in the name of Dracula. In Season 3, Isaac learns more about the world and how it's not as simple as humans are evil. He meets the captain who tells him, if you don't have your own story, you become part of someone else's. He reminds him that with all his knowledge and power, he has the ability to lead and teach humanity kindness. If you kill all humans, you kill all human cruelty, but you kill all human kindness too. Isaac only grows from there in season 4 when he is rebuilding the city left ravaged by the ill wizard. He even tells himself, and the audience, that he only reacted to situations before and now he has agency and can create futures. He doesn't even feel interested in bringing Dracula back once Varney tells him about it. Isaac still feels the need to get revenge, but the confrontation he has with Hector doesn't go as he planned. Once he sees Hector's reverence and honor in defeat, he decides to let him go and focus his ire on Carmilla. I also love Isaac's final fight with Carmilla. As honorable and as old school as Isaac is, I love how he uses his night creatures in battle. He knows that Carmilla has the advantage of being a powerful vampire and he's not about to play the honor card and fight alone if it means it's gonna get himself killed. Even this decision is a shift from where Isaac could have been if he remained the loyal, self-sacrificial servant. His final line I'm going to live shows that although self-sacrifice and honor appear to be the moral and righteous path, it fails to recognize the power of rebuilding and living in order to create a better future for others. Your presence, your power, your unique gifts and knowledge can be used to help other people who are suffering under the boot of those who are in power and have been in power for too long. This is how they get us, Hector. They try to convince us that there is no future. There's only an eternal now, and the best we can do is survive until dawn and do it again. That's no way to live. Isaac's growth demonstrates how our own magic and gifts should be used to benefit others and build and establish a community in contrast to what those in power have told us is the way things go. Isaac's journey, although simple, became one of the most impactful in the entire show.